what is happening guys welcome back to another video at wicked garage here we have the continuation of our custom truck build series um flatbeds semi-bolted like in the last video but we did get everything else adjusted and all the lights in the front are wired up as well as the winch um, we did have to take them up off again in order to get the new headlights on um, i have new cab lights coming today as well as a third brake light and all the wiring and everything that's left that i need to do um, this is all wired up to the stock headlights or stock fog lights and um it's fused so that's good if anything were to blow out on this it just goes to the factory fog light fuse so other than that you can see i do need to tighten up the rest of the fog lights and uh, that's no big deal um you see we got the side skirts on i keep saying side skirts but they're actually running boards or side steps um they're on they're uh, gonna get double checked before that goes and like I said, this has the four front bolts in it, and I just got done um, touching up everything that needed to be touched up. And uh, I drilled a hole in the top for the light. That's going to go on a separate switch. I'll show you how to do that. And then um, I just moved to the back, and we are installing a backup camera. What we did was uh, we got a uh, new one and um i like this because it has the sticky on it and then i didn't tighten it up yet but you can see back here there's a nut that goes on it and that just turns to wherever tight is obviously you never over tighten anything like that you just snug it up uh so that'll connect to the harness and then this will get ran all the way to the head unit so pretty self-explanatory i'm just going to follow up into the head unit the old wire that goes through there i have it coiled up and then we'll pull everything out this kit's pretty cool it comes with uh you know a little trim puller some crappy electrical tape and whatever i mean it gives you like a whole kit so with that we're gonna hop inside the cab pull the head unit out and Go so from there. there was a piece of trim that was over this and then also the dash trim that I popped off and then there's two 10 millimeter bolts that got pulled out and then that allowed me to do this. So I took the old one, pulled it out through there and I just put ran this one in the same spot so it's actually under the shifter on the rubber boot. So I went up underneath there, got everything, you know, sort of routed. So here it is pretty simple there is a uh this one's a cam says it right on the bottom everything's sort of labeled and then this is the rear cam so this is where that positive would hook up and then that would plug in there and then this is done in here as far as that and then we will run everything you see i already got it down on the ground We'll run that all the way to the back and then those two wires go to ground and the reverse lights so that it initiates um, when you go into reverse. So the fuel neck's all in as well as all of the uh, hosing that needed to be done. So it's on a gradual angle instead of a sharp angle and then up. But as you can see here, we have the fender liner that I made out of uh, belting from a conveyor belt. And then in here, you, if you can see, I capped all of the three inch box tube that has the bolts. Everything's bolted down now. Um, the only thing that's left is to, obviously you can see all the wiring hanging down, which I'm going to actually tap into that harness for all my wiring. And uh, that way it's all fused. I don't have to worry about it. And I can use the connectors. All right, so we used the two wire. And we put it in each marker hole. And then, uh, so we're just jumping from marker to marker all the way to the back. And then we're using four wire for everything else, which will be going up to there. And then we will be running a wire down behind there in the tube and into the back and then just follow it into the cab 
and then that'll be done. Alright guys, a little update on the switch situation in here. So I pulled the wire through the bottom all the way from the back where I needed to and then all the way up into a hole, a rubber boot that goes through into the cab. I also pulled in um, a power wire from the battery. So that is um, all butt connected and heat shrunk to the power in the switch and everything so what i did for the battery wise i got a little fusible link and um i put a 10 amp fuse in there and then this will go when everything's done it'll go on there and uh that'll power the light bar on the back